everybody so I got a quick video um, to do so I installed the the trumpet horns and everything on the forerunner I did not record any of it but I this video will be just a show you what parts you need and I'll show you the install and what it looks like and everything like that so please stick around check out the video and I'll see you guys there thank you for watching everything that I used to do the horn install um, some of these things are optional so I have um, flux the Milwaukee M12 soldering iron with a 6 amp hour battery on it I used the Milwaukee fuel to Five five six quarter inch fuel ratchet um, with a couple different extensions. I uh, have these left over, which is ten, uh, twelve gauge yellow wire, twelve gauge black wire, and twelve gauge red wire. The black is ground. For the compressor to the battery black is ground from the relay and switch to the battery red is positive from relay to switch um, to the battery and yellow is actually the the hot um, I call call it the trigger wire um, this goes from the switch power out to the positive of the compressor I used quarter inch split seam loom and convoluted tubing, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, worked pretty well for uh, two, it'll hold, it won't hold anything more than two 10 gauge or uh, 12 gauge wires. Some, um, some rubber hose. This is, I believe it's fuel line. Um, I don't remember what size it is. If I can um, remember what size it is, I'll let you guys know. Little dielectric grease. Um, this was for all the connections. I did solder some. Anything that was in the engine bay or outside, I soldered. Anything that was under the dash, which was the switch and the relay, I just used um, quick connects. Here's some solder. Uh, this is a pair of old um, strippers and crimpers. I only use these for the crimpers. Two different size flat heads. This was to get um, the grill off as well as to pop out one of my extra um, blanks, switch blanks, some electrical tape, some Harbor Freight shears, some Klein strippers, these are catapult strippers, which are my favorite, uh, cheap Snyder um, soldering gun, which I used it for the hot air function. Thirteen mil socket, the thirteen millimeter gear wrench, fourteen millimeter gear wrench. Here is a longer wobble extension. It's a, I think a seven, six inch, seven inch, might be an eight inch. I don't remember. Quarter um, socket for the hose clamps, spiral hose clamps. well as a four inch I believe this is a four inch extension and a number 10 
Um, I used all of these. These are from Harbor Freight, just a bundle of um, alligator clamp cables. This was just set up on the relay and the switch um, to remind me what wires went where, what was hot, what was ground, and all that. It was just a just a, a rig set up. Some Klein flush cutters. This might be a little long of a video. Some heat shrink tubing. A helping hands for soldering. Some uh, 10 and 12 gauge spades, waterproof spades, as well as 16, 18 gauge. The reason I like these waterproof spades is because the, the 16, 18, the 14, 16, And the oh, what is it? It's on here. I can't remember. Oh, twenty gauge, eighteen gauge, eighteen gauge, sixteen gauge, ten gauge, eight gauge, twelve gauge, ten gauge, twelve gauge, fourteen gauge. It's 16, 14 gauge. Um, these connectors, they'll literally match. So I can use a 10 gauge on a 10 and 12 gauge on a 16, 14 gauge, and they'll connect together. Um, that's what I used for those. I also used one of these inline fuse. Here um, with a, th a thirty a thirty amp fuse straight to the battery. I got the fuse out of my assortment of fuses. I use um, some Dremel stuff and solder stuff. Um, M8 by 1.25 nut and some of these um, I got these from Napa these are half inch steel insulated clamp pack 15 um, they basically clamp the two ends together and uh, you can put wire loom stuff like that in it so this is everything that I used here to do the job as well as um, move these down here. Quarter inch stubby. The Milwaukee 2504 M12 hammer drill. The Milwaukee 2460 rotary tool. Um, I think I think that's it. Oh, I used um I did I put it back in here. I did put it back in here. I also used the Two, four, five, six brushed quarter inch as well. These are all the Milwaukee tools I used. I also used some large zip ties. Um, I think. I think that's it. Hey, 
everybody, so I forgot. Uh, I'm just going to be just a quick little add on to the video. Um, I bought, I actually custom ordered from Napa these. Um, these are similar to the 10 gauge, 12 gauge, 14, 16, 18, 20 gauge um, pass through. You can connect two wires. Uh, let me turn the light on so it's viewable. These. I got them in, I got them a while back in, um, let's see, here's the 10, 12, 22, 14, blah, blah, blah. Well, I got some that are not plastic covered, you know, these for like heavy gauge, you know, six, eight, four gauge. Um, and I have these ring terminals. These are these are um, eight gauge, um, six and eight gauge connectors, and I have the bare tubes. And I, which this bare tube right here is exactly the same as what's in this red plastic one. It's just covered. I use this to connect the two um, twelve gauge relay. Um, positive cables as well as one of the 16 gauge um, uh, switch power um, and then I connected like a 8 inch piece of 10 gauge or a 12 gauge is what it was on the other end put a little quick connector on it I forgot to show that I um, also use these because these right here are these are four to six gauge and the red ones are um, 68 and then these yellow ones right here are actually two gauge so um, just wanted to show you guys that I forgot to uh, show it earlier so I figured I'd show it real quick just add it to the video So I haven't cleaned anything up. Uh, my cat just passed away, so uh, we gotta go bury her in the morning. But uh, see you guys on the rest of the video. So let's go outside and I'll show you guys the, um, the finished job. Be right back. Alright everybody. Bunch of white powder out here. I'm just kidding. That's all the drywall um, joint compound that I got done sanding. Oh, sneezing like crazy. Freaking allergies. Alright, so here's the switch. The relay is right here, which um, might not be easy to see. Relay is right here. The light turns on. You can hear the relay click. Not sure if it'd be easier if I close the door. you guys in here best I can. You should be able to hear the relay. So I'll pop the hood. I'm going to show you guys a little bit. Um, I'll explain the wiring. I can hold the hood up and put the prop in with one hand. Oh, look at that, one hand. All right. So this yellow wire right here 
I did wire loom everything all the way down. This yellow wire goes all the way into the truck. It is the hot out of the switch. So when you push the button, it activates this yellow wire, sends 12 volt power to the compressor. This black wire right here is the ground from the firewall, or not the firewall, but the, the ground bolt right here, straight to the ground of the compressor. This black wire right here is the ground for the relay and the switch. And this inline fuse is the hot from the switch um, or the relay. This is the hot that goes into the relay and then transfers to the, uh, the hot for the switch, which is the input hot for the switch. I don't know how well it'd be to see it. The compressor is this silver circle right here. I used, uh, might not be able to see that. I used a little quarter inch um, uh, quarter inch socket to turn and tighten the quarter inch um, twist um, thread style bolt and clamp. You know, the these. I don't remember what they're called, but they're just the the gear clamps to lock the rubber hose, which I was showing you inside. This rubber hose that instead of using clear hose, that flathead screwdriver was to pop all these clips right here. Um, from when I was doing the headlights, you guys know that all these clips are brand new. Let's get under the truck. Okay. I mounted the horns right there. You can probably see them slightly. Yep, right there. Mounted some one of the existing bolts um, holding the top shroud to the bumper on. Um, just one bolt. I, technically, it had four bolts. One bolt holding the bracket to the horns. The other bolts hold, uh, there's no other bolt. It's just sliding up on the, the bolt and I just turned and locked the nut back on. This is all of my HID harness and then my fog lights on the ram guard and then my HIDs for my actual fogs and everything is wired up. So that's why it looks like a lot of wires down here. This orange wire is actually the wire that splices onto both sides for the hazards and blinkers for the halos. Which allows when I turn my, my hazards on, the halos on my headlights actually flash. It also alerts people when I'm turning. Let's give you an idea. That's what that orange wire does. So they blink at the same time. There you go. It turns the, because I have the amber switchbacks. So the switchback is where I can have any color on my halo, um, front halos which I could have wired the rear halos to flash for the turn signals too I only wired the front halos so um, the rear halos stay whatever color I set them to the front halos are the only ones that change I can always um, wire the rear halos to the blinkers as well later on down the road but I kind of like that if I have the rear halos green they stay green and the front ones are the only ones that flash. I did not take anything other than the bumper um, forward. I did not remove the ram guard or any of these lights. Um, it's a pretty easy job other than it took me all day because of uh, time 
restraints and working but um, basically the fuse link goes to the red wire inside the vehicle which it's linked to the red wire goes to the hot to the relay and the switch ground goes to the relay and the switch the yellow wire is the switch hot power out goes straight from the switch all the way to the compressor and then this ground is the ground to the compressor so basically if I needed to unhook the compressor I could just unhook the two cables or if I needed to unhook the switch I could just unhook these two the two that are actually attached to the battery and everything's disconnected no big deal um, so technically the compressor isn't running into the cab other than the control wire to the switch so there's only one wire running from the cab all the way down this pillar and running to that the other wire which is the ground wire on the compressor it's literally a very short wire it's coming from here to there it's only like I think two feet uh, it's not um, as loud as I'd want it to be but it definitely better than not having a horn at all and um, I'm gonna put the camera here <sighs> Anybody that's watching this video, you guys might want to lower your volume. I'm going to test the horn with the mic near the horn. thing just to show you guys up close when you push the button the, the halo ring lights up I tucked all the wires so move it up here you can see that the tuck the wires they're right here these wires go to my stereo um, for the backup camera and everything nice clean install the only thing I did not put wire loom on is the wires coming out over here which is these three right there I did not run wire loom from there over I can do that later uh, when I remove the charcoal box and everything else when I need to replace that the brake booster is still red Kinda of dusty. Um, I need to zip tie the the fuse down. See if I can put the tripod on the battery. No, I cannot. I wish I could have recorded it and everything. Um, it's got a 30 amp fuse. It's green. It's an ATO fuse. So, should be good. Even if I need to put a bigger horn in or anything like that, it's already set up. I just unplug the air hose, run, and run the air hose to the new horn, 
it's all good and done. Um, these, all these colorful wires right here. These are all the halos and everything else. better there they go push them down so it's got a lot of wires a lot of customizations here's the ground for the passenger side this hose right here is actually a um, a breather hose um, it's actually to uh, the old fog lights, the original fog lights on this vehicle, there was a little elbow, it was like a 90 degree elbow, plugged into the side of the fog light, and it usually ran up or down. It was very tiny. Um, every, for, the problem I had with it is that it was falling apart, they were cracked, um, water was getting in them when I went mudding, playing in the water and everything, and it was literally, water was getting inside the, the fog lights which I put HIDs in these I didn't want the water to destroy the HID bulb so what I did is I bought some fuel line I think this was quarter or three-eighths fuel line and I basically just uh, plugged it into the, the the breather port or the you know hot air escape port and then I just ran it up here and tacked it to the body right here so that way if I was playing in the water or I was mudding or whatever um, the heat's still escaping the, the original housings but it's just not um, sitting so close to the ground getting wet so had that worked out well I haven't had condensation in either one of them or water in either one of them since the other one for the driver's side is actually that hose I don't know if you can see it you might be able to see it. it's that little hose right there but all in all brakes are still holding up good other than some brake dust calipers are still red drums in the rear are still bright red Brake booster, brand new master cylinder. Brake booster still red. Everything's working great. Um, sorry, I couldn't record it, guys. It just it spent all day between me sneezing and and it just it would have been kind of a miserable video. Um, next time I wire one of these horns, maybe on the Ford, um, I'll do actually video on that because on the Ford, what I'm going to be doing. Is this truck is going to be getting an actual real expensive like three thousand dollar horn upgrade um, with the you know four or five gallon air tank the independent uh compressor and the we're going to be putting actual train horns on this truck because this truck is a beast yeah mm. I want people to know when I when I honk, get the fuck out of my way. Sorry for the cussing. I don't really cuss very much, but you know it's gonna be a fun project. Figure out where we're gonna mount the the five gallon air tank, where we're gonna mount the compressor, wire everything up, um, wire in a relay and a switch, preferably probably the same red switch we got here I think the horn sounds good um, the reason I wired that horn up is because the clock spring is bad so I have no cruise control I have no horn original horn don't work and uh, I have an airbag light on squib circuit the clock spring um, 
flat cable came flying out. I took my truck to Brake Masters, told them, hey, I need you to do an alignment. Idiots at Brake Masters. Some reason they unhooked my steering wheel, my steering shaft to my rack and pinion. And I think they turned the steering wheel too many times one direction because when I got the truck back, I drove about 15 miles and the clock spring flew out. The ribbon cable for the clock spring just flew out. So, yeah, it is what it is. These two switches are for the ram guard. This one is for the upper ram guard uh, LED lights. This one's for the lowers. No, it is what it is guys and nothing I can do about it. This is gonna be a long video I apologize that it's not short like I said it was gonna be um, But I appreciate you guys this time Thank you so much for watching uh, Please like comment subscribe um, I don't know if I'm gonna be putting any of the the, the list of tools in it Um I'm sure you guys, because I read off the the part numbers and the and the sockets and part numbers for all the Milwaukee tools I used. And the only reason I used the hammer drill was because I was cutting my own washers. Uh, I had my own washers, but the hole was too small. I made them bigger. You know, don't necessarily need the hammer drill, but I used the ratchets, both ratchets, um, and I put one of these spiral clamps on the on the hose holding the hose onto the air horns as well but like I said a few seconds ago I appreciate you guys watching thank you so much for being subscribers and hanging with me sorry I could not do the full install um, but you know just had stuff to do been sneezing all day you know, allergies are kicking my butt in the last couple weeks you know I had work to do I had to go do a couple jobs and it just it got put on hold um, but I appreciate you guys sticking around uh, again please like comment subscribe hit the bell notification icon for future updates go check out my Amazon affiliate links and I'll see you guys on the next video peace